Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson from Marketing Easy Street, and I want to wish you a happy new year. 2014 is here, and in the month of December, I spent a lot of time kind of reevaluating plugins for WordPress, technologies, uh, search engine optimization, and really making a plan for moving forward. Now, one of the things I'm actually doing, I'm in the process of launching a brand new website, and I'm going to uh, use a pre-selected set of plugins to push rankings, to get better results, to really accomplish a bunch of stuff. And I thought it would be super if I took the time and made an in-depth WordPress tutorial video that would help people to get their sites online, move forward, whether you're brand new, you're a beginner, or more of an intermediate WordPress user, and accomplish a number of things. So hey, that's this video series. It's located on Marketing Easy Street. Just visit the site and look for WordPress tutorial installation and optimization for SEO. So what this series is going to incorporate is a number of videos that will walk you through literally the start of launching a brand new WordPress website just as I would do, uh, what themes uh, I would look to use, uh, plugins that I'd use, improving uh, search performance by incorporating a number of tactics. And that's what I want to go over with you in this video. This is an introduction to the series. So first off, what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through the process of installing WordPress. Uh, there'll be two different videos. One will be a manual installation where you download the files manually. You uh, send the files to your server and you configure WordPress. I'll walk you through that process and I'll also show you how to do it in a push button uh, type of way where you'll literally use a script that many web hosting companies offer customers. That will be the installation of WordPress using a script. Number two, I'm going to walk you through using uh, Optimize Press 2. Now, I've been using Optimize Press 2 on this website. It's got a lot of great features. I'll share with you what, why you might want to use Optimize Press. And I'll also give you some additional ideas on how to find a theme that won't cost you a penny. Next, we're going to look into incorporating several plugins to basically uh, incorporate uh, search engine result listings with images. Now you can see here on this screen capture, I've actually got an image in the blog post of this page here. And what's really interesting, number one, is I want you to notice, let me see if I can grab my tools here. I want you to notice these bars, right? These bars are for the Moz toolbar. Okay, now you can download the Moz toolbar, just search for Moz toolbar, it's completely free, and you get a real kind of quick glimpse of the page score, that's PA, and you can see this page score here has a page score of 11, and you get a quick glimpse of the domain authority. Now this is where it gets really interesting. Notice when we search for Halloween affiliate marketing, we get 1.9 million results, and all of the listings on page one of Google have a pretty high domain score. Mark Ling and his excellent site, afilorama.com, has a domain score of 60. Mine has a domain score of 28. It's not bad, it's pretty good, but most of the domains on this page that Google have featured have a much higher score. Like this one here has a domain score of, of 43, yet I'm outranking it. That's due to using several plugins to incorporate these images. Now, you're looking at a Google Plus authorship plugin, which gives your uh, page and domain more trust with Google and helps to boost ranking. So we'll, we'll cover that, how, to, how you can get that thumbnail image, how you can get the trust with Google in this uh, web tutorial, this WordPress tutorial, I should say. Let's continue. A domain score of 43, domain score 73, domain score 23, domain score 36, 36, 57. There I am again back in 2009 with a domain score. It's not listed, but it's YouTube, so it's very high. A domain score of 63 and so on. So what's interesting to see here is that my site has the second lowest domain score, yet I'm ranking number two out of 1.9 million results. And that's what this tutorial will help you to do. So we're gonna look at two different plugins we can use to get these types of image-based um, Google listings 
uh, into Google, right? So you can publish and you can have an image. This is the second one we're gonna look at. Now this is a video thumbnail, and most of the time, if we go back here, you'll see that most video listings only happen if you post a video to a video sharing site. In this case, I published to YouTube back in 2009 and I got a video listing, but by using a video site map, you can see here, you can have a, a, li a video listing that points to your domain. So that's another strategy that I'll be walking you through when you install WordPress based on this tutorial. So that's kind of what we're gonna cover. These are some of the things. We'll also have plugins, like I mentioned. Lastly, we're gonna talk about Google Page Speed. What is that? Well, here you can see on the Google Developer page, Page Speed is really analyzes your website and specifically the individual pages, now that could be a WordPress page post, your WordPress homepage, and Google analyzes your uh, web pages for how fast they load. And the, the faster they load, the better. And Google takes these uh, statistics into its algorithm. So you're gonna wanna increase the speed of WordPress. And I'll tell you, WordPress, it's pretty bad when it comes to page speed. And I'm gonna show you in less than five minutes how you can easily improve your page speed. So that's all the wonderful things we're gonna be covering in the, this uh, tutorial series. There'll be a number of videos that are found on this page. If you're watching this video on Facebook or YouTube or any of the video sharing sites, uh, I advise you to click the link that's on the page and access my site, marketingeasystreet.com. So you'll have the in-depth information you need to launch your site exactly how I'm gonna show you to accomplish all the things I've gone over. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson. Thanks for spending the time. And let's get into the tutorial. See you on the next video.